Work out your salvation in fear and trembling. Isaiah 61 verse 10. He says, I delight in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. And arrayed me in the robes of righteousness. As the bridegroom adorns his head like a priest. And as a bridegroom Pride adorns herself with her jewels. It's very amazing. He's talking about the raiment, the garment of salvation. That Jesus purchased for us at the Calvary cross. And then he's also talking about the garment of righteousness. And that the garment of salvation is given to everybody upon your salvation, upon receiving Jesus. You are given that garment. And then there is another garment called the garment of righteousness. He says the garment of righteousness when the Bible says work out your salvation in fear and trembling. In other words, you begin to work out your salvation. And then you earn it. In other words, there are some friends you may have to cut out. There is a certain type of lifestyle you may have to live that was of the past of sin. The garment of righteousness requires your effort. And that's why he says, make every effort to live in peace with all men. And to be holy. So that is the effort I'm talking about. And that's why the foolish virgins and the wise virgins, they all had the garment of salvation. However, when it was time to enter, then only those with the oil only the Holy Spirit can help you and reorganize your life and conform your life conform your soul conform your values with the requirements of God so that you may now wear the garment of righteousness so you can say the garment of righteousness is actually rewarded to you it's actually a gift God actually uh, when you work now, you earn it. Hey. Let me put it again this way. That you become work in progress. And that's why he says you grow from glory to glory. Work out your salvation in fear and trembling. Meaning there is a certain lifestyle of sin that you used to have. But now that you are wearing the garment of salvation, you start downloading that sinful life style. And now that is what builds you to the garment of righteousness that Jesus earned for you. Remember that righteousness is a credit. You are, it's accredited to you. It's God's righteousness accredited to you owing to the progress you've made, your commitment, your faithfulness. And your faithfulness. And how much you are willing to abandon a lifestyle of sin. But when you look at today's church, do you see a church that has abandoned our former lifestyle? But that is very deadly then. Because the foolish virgins go to hell. The door is shut by Jesus himself. Ay! Ay. The foolish virgins were also born again in the church. 
judge. What is the problem? They go to hell. The Lord himself shuts the door. And that's why this generation needs to listen very well. The opportunity has availed itself. The revival of the end has come. The anointing is here. Repent and believe the gospel. Receive Jesus. Be born again. Be holy. Stop the sin in the church. Stop the posters in the church. Stop the lies in the church. Stop the deception in the church. Stop selling false miracles in the church. Many families are very desperate for the the healing of the Lord. You cannot lie to them. Stop the commercial life, commercial services in your churches. Commercial service, commercial churches. Pursuing money in the church. There is a greater calling. There is a nobler calling. How awesome to serve the Lord in his holiness. And for the Lord to use you in a mighty way. The job satisfaction is incomparable to anything else. And that's why the Lord is saying. Just like Joshua. Appears in the filthy garment. Look now this generation. And yet the Lord has set out for free at the Calvary cross. The door has not yet closed. At the Calvary cross. He offered this garment of salvation. And this precious garment of righteousness. Which you need to walk your way through. Which you need to walk your way through.